Our planet, Earth, is a marvel of the cosmos, a testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring processes of celestial mechanics and geological evolution. Its formation, a saga spanning billions of years, begins not with the Earth itself, but within a cosmic crucible, a swirling nebula that gave birth to our solar system. Understanding how the Earth was made is not merely an exercise in tracing our planetary origins. It is a journey that offers profound insights into the very nature of planetary science and our place in the vast expanse of the universe. In embarking on this exploration of Earth's genesis, we delve into a story that is foundational to our understanding of not only our own planet, but also the myriad worlds orbiting distant stars. It's a narrative that intertwines the disciplines of astronomy, geology, and physics, revealing the processes that shape planets and moons. This knowledge is crucial, not only for comprehending Earth's past and present, but also for envisioning its future and the potential futures of other worlds. As we unravel the layers of Earth's early history, we uncover clues about the dynamics of solar systems, the formation of atmospheres and oceans, and the mysterious origins of life itself. Each discovery in this field illuminates a piece of the puzzle of our universe, shedding light on how cosmic events billions of years ago have shaped the world we inhabit today. Thus, understanding the formation of Earth is more than a quest into the distant past. It's a key to understanding the broad tapestry of the universe and our extraordinary place within it. The birth of the solar system the narrative of our solar system's birth begins approximately 4.6 billion years ago, a chapter written in the cosmic dust and gas of the universe. This monumental event, the formation of the solar system, is best understood through the lens of the solar nebula theory, a cornerstone of modern astrophysics. At the outset, the solar system was nothing more than a vast cloud of interstellar gas and dust, known as a solar nebula. This nebula, like countless others scattered throughout the galaxy, was the residue of earlier stellar generations, containing the elemental ingredients for future solar systems. Within this nebula, a series of events unfolded that would eventually give rise to the Sun and its orbiting family of planets, asteroids and comets. The trigger for the solar system's formation was likely a shockwave from a nearby supernova or other cosmic event, which disturbed the delicate equilibrium of the nebula. As a result, the cloud began to collapse under its own gravity. This gravitational collapse marked the beginning of a process that would radically transform the nebula. As the nebula collapsed, it began to spin, a consequence of the conservation of angular momentum. The spinning caused the cloud to flatten into a disk, with most of the material gradually spiraling towards the center. This rotating disk, known as the protoplanetary disk, was the birthplace of the planets. However, the central concentration of mass, where the majority of the nebula's material coalesced, was destined to become something even more significant, the Sun. In the heart of this maelstrom, the density and temperature rose dramatically. When the core of this condensed mass reached a critical threshold, nuclear fusion ignited, marking the birth of our Sun, a new star in the galaxy. The fusion process, beginning with the conversion of hydrogen into helium, released immense amounts of energy, lighting up the young solar system. The remaining material in the protoplanetary disk, now orbiting the nascent Sun, did not remain idle. Within this disk, the seeds of the planets, including Earth, were taking shape. Tiny particles of dust and gas began to stick together, gradually forming larger and larger bodies, setting the stage for the complex process of planetary formation. The birth of the solar system, as described by the solar nebula theory, is a story of transformation and creation. From a diffuse cloud of cosmic material, a new star emerged, surrounded by a disk teeming with potential, this process, replicated countless times across the universe, is a fundamental mechanism by which stars and planetary systems are formed, offering a window into the dynamic and ever-changing cosmos in which we reside. The accretion of Earth's story of Earth's formation is a tale of cosmic accumulation and transformation, 
unfolding in the vast expanse of the early solar system. At the heart of this process was accretion, a pivotal mechanism through which the Earth, as we know it, gradually came into being. This stage of planetary formation began in the solar nebula, a dense cloud of gas and dust left over from the sun's formation. In this celestial nursery, countless particles of dust and rock, remnants of the solar system's nascent days, started to coalesce. Influenced by gravity and electrostatic forces, these particles began to clump together, forming larger and larger aggregates. Over time, these growing clumps evolved into substantial bodies known as planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. These planetesimals, varying in size from mere rocks to objects spanning several kilometers, set the stage for the next phase of Earth's formation. The environment of the early solar system was chaotic and crowded. As planetesimals orbited the young Sun, they frequently collided and interacted with each other. These collisions, ranging from gentle fusions to catastrophic impacts, were central to the accretion process. When planetesimals collided, they often merged, gradually growing into larger bodies. This process was not uniform or gentle. It was marked by intense collisions that generated significant heat and reshaped these early planetary embryos. As these bodies grew, their gravitational influence strengthened, accelerating the accretion process. Larger planetesimals attracted more material, leading to a runaway effect where the biggest bodies grew at a faster rate. Over millions of years, these increasingly massive objects, now known as protoplanets, dominated their local regions of space, clearing their orbits of smaller debris. The Earth, in its earliest form, emerged from this tumultuous process. It was a protoplanet, forged from countless collisions and mergers of planetesimals, growing in size and mass until it became the planet we recognize today. This period of Earth's history was marked by extreme conditions, with high temperatures from constant impacts and a surface molten from the immense energies involved. Thus, the accretion of Earth was not a tranquil process, but a dynamic and violent chapter in the planet's history. It set the stage for the subsequent development of the planet's structure, atmosphere, and, much later, the emergence of life. Through this process, a diverse array of planetesimals, each carrying different materials and compounds, came together to form a unique world, rich in complexity and capable of supporting life, a testament to the remarkable power of accretion in shaping the worlds of our solar system. The Hadeanean, Earth's early years, the Hadeanean, named after the ancient Greek underworld Hades, signifies the earliest chapter in Earth's geologic history, a time shrouded in mystery and characterized by extreme conditions. This eon spanned from about four, six to four billion years ago, commencing with the formation of Earth and ending before the earliest known rock formations had solidified. During the Hadean eon, Earth bore little resemblance to its present state. The planet was in a nascent phase, undergoing a process of intense transformation. The surface was predominantly molten, with vast oceans of magma covering the landscape, a result of the immense heat generated from the frequent and violent collisions that marked Earth's early accretion period. The atmosphere, largely devoid of oxygen, was thick with volcanic gases, painting a picture of a world that was inhospitable by today's standards. One of the most defining events of the Hadeanian was the late heavy bombardment, LHB, a period of intense meteorite impacts that occurred approximately 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago. This epoch was characterized by a significantly higher frequency of extraterrestrial collisions, which played a pivotal role in shaping the young Earth. The late heavy bombardment had several profound implications for Earth's development. Firstly, these impacts contributed to the ongoing melting and reshaping of Earth's surface. The energy released by these collisions further maintained the molten state of the early Earth and potentially influenced the formation and composition of the early crust. Secondly, these meteorite impacts had significant implications for the origins of life on Earth. It's hypothesized that these collisions could have brought with them water and organic compounds, 
essential ingredients for life, from the far reaches of the solar system. Thus, the LHB may have played a crucial role in seeding Earth with the necessary components for the eventual emergence of life. Furthermore, the intense bombardment likely played a role in the formation of Earth's early atmosphere and hydrosphere. Their impacts would have released gases trapped within the planet and the meteorites themselves, contributing to the primordial atmosphere's composition. In summary, the Hadean Eon was a time of extreme heat, volcanic activity, and transformation. The late heavy bombardment stands out as a particularly influential period during this eon, significantly impacting the geological and potentially biological development of the planet. Understanding this eon provides invaluable insights into the processes that shaped the early Earth, laying the groundwork for all the complex systems and forms of life that would follow. Earth's differentiation and the emergence of the geosphere as the early Earth evolved, it underwent a remarkable process of differentiation, segregating into distinct layers, the core, mantle, and crust. This stratification was driven by the varying densities of Earth's constituent materials. Heavier elements, like iron and nickel, sank towards the center, forming the core, while lighter materials rose to form the mantle and eventually the crust. The core, comprising a solid inner part and a liquid outer layer, played a crucial role in generating Earth's magnetic field. The movement of the liquid iron in the outer core creates a dynamo effect, producing the magnetic field that shields our planet from solar radiation and cosmic rays. This magnetic field has been crucial in maintaining Earth's atmosphere and making it hospitable for life. The mantle, a thick layer of silicate rocks, is less dense than the core. It's in a state of slow, convective turnover, which drives the movement of tectonic plates on the surface. This process of plate tectonics has been fundamental in shaping Earth's surface, forming mountains, ocean basins, and driving volcanic activity. The atmosphere and hydrosphere of origins of Earth's atmosphere and oceans are deeply intertwined with the planet's early development. Initially, the atmosphere was likely composed of gases released from volcanic outgassing, including water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and ammonia. The oceans formed as the planet cooled, allowing water vapor to condense and fall as rain. Over millennia, these rains filled the basins, forming the early oceans. Another theory for the origins of Earth's water suggests that it was delivered, at least in part, by comets and asteroids rich in ice, which bombarded the young Earth during the late heavy bombardment. The advent of life eth emergence of life on Earth is one of the most significant milestones in our planet's history. Life is believed to have appeared sometime during the Oceanian, with evidence suggesting microbial life existed as early as 3.5 billion years ago. This emergence of life profoundly transformed Earth's atmosphere and geology. Photosynthetic organisms began converting carbon dioxide into oxygen, gradually leading to an oxygen-rich atmosphere and paving the way for more complex life forms. Conclusion formation and development of Earth is a complex and fascinating tale, spanning billions of years. From a cloud of cosmic dust to a vibrant, life-supporting planet, Earth's journey is a testament to the dynamic processes that shape worlds. Understanding Earth's origins not only provides insights into our past, but also helps us comprehend the potential trajectories of other planets, both within our solar system and in distant star systems. Reflecting on Earth's origins and evolution enhances our appreciation of the delicate balance that sustains life. It underscores the importance of our role in preserving this unique planet ensuring that the conditions that have supported life for billions of years continue to do so for generations to come. Our understanding of Earth's past is crucial in guiding our actions today, as we seek to sustain and cherish this extraordinary world that we call home.